Yo, you too. What's good? Jay Solo, living and lifting in Japan. Do you want to know how to build lean muscle at home with limited time, space, and equipment? Well, if so, keep watching. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Okay, so first off, we're doing the single arm dumbbell row, and this is a great exercise to work your lats. The more experience you get, the heavier that you can go. And if you notice, I'm gonna be showing you from the side that I'll be rowing in an arc, and that is really going to help target your lats instead of doing a straight up and down power row. Okay, so next up we have the dumbbell cell row or the incline dumbbell row. And this is great exercise to do if you are someone who has lower back issues. The only drawback to this is that you won't be able to go as heavy as you would with say a single arm dumbbell row or a barbell row. Okay, so up next we have the bent over dumbbell row, and this is a very similar exercise to the incline dumbbell row. However, this will be very taxing on your lower back, so my advice would be to choose the weight that you use very carefully so that you don't overtax your lower back. Okay, and again, with this movement, you'll see me rowing in an arc motion because I want to tax my lats as much as I am my mid-back. So this is a great exercise for that. Okay, so now I'll be doing the decline dumbbell pullover. I like this version more than the flat or incline because I don't have to worry about the position of my hips. And I can just solely focus on getting the stretch on my lats and my serratus. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you a dumbbell pullover that you can do from the floor. I'm just laying some mats down this way if you are someone who works out at home, you don't have to worry about damaging the floor. Okay, so quick tip, when forming this movement from the floor, place the dumbbell between your legs. This way it's easier for you to get into position because you'll have more core stability from the middle instead of pulling from your right or from your left. Okay, so next up, we'll be working the rear delts and the upper back. This is a great exercise, especially for rear delts because you can go very heavy with this exercise, or I would say relatively heavy compared to a normal fly. This is a combination of a fly row, is what I can call it, 
I'm not really sure what to call this exercise. I don't really see it being done, but not often, at least. If you know the name of this exercise and if you can tell me, I'd be greatly, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so last but not least, this is an exercise that's going to be working the lower back, trying to get that Christmas tree action, the spinal erectors or posterior chain, some people call it. This is great because you can use dumbbells and you go relatively heavy or very heavy. And if you're someone who doesn't have access to a barbell and you can't perform deadlifts, or rack pulls, I recommend trying this exercise to strengthen your lower back. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to Homegrown Workout. If there is a workout that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments section below and I promise you that I will make that video happen. But until next time, this is Jay Solo, out.